Frankly, I'm worried. The world is changing at an ever-increasing speed and it's safe to say that dating has also radically changed, maybe for the worse. Where do you start and how do you thrive in your dating life nowadays? Or should you just give up? My name is Louis Farfields. I went from an insecure, almost 23-year-old virgin to probably the most popular online dating coach for men in the world. Real quick, I'll start off with the most worrying dating statistics that Team Takes God has witnessed and gathered over the last few years. Listen up, because these things change the whole dating playground for 2023. One in four young adults say that they have yet to experience partnered sex with young men reporting higher rates of sexlessness than young women. Look at this graph. In just 10 year time, male virginity went from 8% to a whopping 27%. And I know we can see bottom right, this graph only went to 2018, but I'm pretty certain the pandemic didn't help much afterwards. Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. That's a serious graph, not not to be confused with this other very scientific graph. In 2021, this institute surveyed 2,000 Americans aged between 18 and 44. They found out that across genders, Gen Z adults reported a lower sex frequency than people in their 30s and 40s. In this study, we also found that Gen Z adults reported higher levels of stress and anxiety, and furthermore, that lower levels of sexual activity are linked to higher levels of stress and anxiety, which was exactly our third finding. There's lots of research being done on the rise of anxiety. According to a study published in October 2021 in the, what I think you pronounce, Lancet, among both genders, the prevalence of anxiety disorder went up 25.6% worldwide. For depressive disorder, the prevalence increased by 27.6%. So let's get practical. So where do we start? What causes all these changes? Mindset is key here. Being in a healthy mindset is more important now than ever. Because it's easy to jump on the blame social media bandwagon for everything we dislike in our society. But for us men, the evil is not just social media in general. It's mostly the bombardment of polished to perfection babes that most men see on TikTok and Instagram in short, fast reels and perfectly crafted profiles. And this messes us up in three ways. Firstly, we start to come from a place of scarcity because apparently somewhere out there, there are so many of these fucking perfect babes and you see them all the time on your phone, but in real life, you never come across one of them. Secondly, we start to compare and it's easy to look perfect online. Let me snap a quick selfie here and... See how perfect I look? That's the effect of 69 seconds of editing in an app. Here's the real selfie. And just like that, you will see the imperfections of the girl next door, of the girl you date, of your girlfriend even. But you will not see the imperfections of these girls online, causing you to think that the girls you are seeing and dating are just not that great. And thirdly, this also influences women. Because just how you see all these hot women online... Women also see those hot women online and then they have to compare themselves to them and then they start doubting themselves. And so it comes as no surprise that 19.5% of young women are now afraid to have sexual intercourse. Especially if you're not big on clubs and you don't want to shit where you eat, aka try dating your colleague and then create a fucking awkward situation and then you, you made a mess at work. Then what the hell do you do? I highly recommend the next two ways. Even though it's not impossible, it can be hard to be the next two things online. Vulnerable and spontaneous. Any social media post ever can be edited to perfection and you can leave as much time as you want in between messages, so there's not much spontaneity there either. And well, how vulnerable can you really be when there's two smartphones and potentially hundreds or thousands of miles in between the two of you? This is where meeting girls in the daytime comes in. In the gym, at a coffee bar, or best of all, just on the street. In my program, one of the biggest realizations that men have is that vulnerability is a strength when approaching girls and 99% of people will love being approached. And many dates can come from this. So the internet, is it just one big 
bad, evil place full of temptation that inevitably turns you into a brain-dead loser? No. It's a tool that can massively enrich in all our lives. Thanks to the internet, I can grind my ranks on Hearthstone while listening to a podcast by Dr. Huberman while my blog is reaching millions of people every year. So yeah, it's a tool and how you use it is completely up to you. Just like a hammer, you can smash it with it or you can build shit with it. But unfortunately, since the inception of dating apps, I've seen too many guys miss out on the opportunity that is given to us by online dating. Oh yeah, dating apps are so shallow, you know? It's like only for one night stands and the guys all care about looks. Yeah, that's an easy way to not go through the hassle of shooting the perfect photos, building your profile, fine-tuning your bio, and learning fucking texting skills. And if you and I are honest with ourselves, then it is often the fear of being rejected that makes us reject something like dating apps without really trying it. Because if we are the rejecter, then we cannot be rejected. The biggest trap is to fall into excuse mode. You see many guys deep down inside secretly fear that they are not good enough for that beautiful girlfriend, that they are not worthy of love. And this fear often manifests itself in a bunch of superficial excuses. And we've heard them all. You're too young, you're too old, you're too fat, you're too skinny, you're too white, you're too black, you're too busy, you're too shy, you're too nerdy, you're too this, you're too that. It's all fucking bullshit. So what do we do? We listen to these excuses instead of taking action towards these desires. Because it's a lot more safe to just be like, it's just not for me, da, 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 than to face the possibility to get our deepest fear confirmed. Getting that belief confirmed that we're not good enough. Because if we are angry and we got something to blame, then at least it's not our fault. We can keep sulking and we're just a poor victim. Well, I'm here to tell you that that is fucking bullshit and you are good enough. I have been through the transformation myself, but most importantly, I have seen hundreds of guys go through this, both with online dating and meeting girls in real life. It is possible and you have already taken the first small step by watching this video all the way till this part and that's awesome. Now, if you want to break free from your current situation, then consider hopping on a free dating strategy call with one of my dating coaches. We'll check what your obstacles are, what you are willing to work on, and what your best next step is. This call is designed to be fun and thought-provoking and sometimes tough. It's free and there's no weird high-pressure sale tactics that we're gonna force on you in case you're worried about that. It's just one of my dating coaches and we're focused on helping you and seeing what is right for you. But I also want to say if you're too scared to hop on a call like this or you come up with some excuses like, hey, I'm too busy or yeah, that actually does sound good. I'll do it later. Just be careful with this mindset because before you know it, another year has passed and another year has passed and another year has passed and you are wasting your best years. So simply take that next simple step, hop on a call and let's make this an epic new year. You got this.